is Sturge Weber syndrome, the structures involved in the Sturge Weber syndrome and the clinical features. The Sturge Weber syndrome, also known as encephalotrigeminal angiomatosis, presents as venous angiomas at birth on the face in the distribution of the ophthalmic and maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve. Sturge Weber syndrome is a sporadic non-familiar disorder with internal organ irregularities of the ectodermal and mesodermal origin. Which organ system does the Sturge Weber syndrome affect? A skin eyes and the nervous system. What are the features in the skin? There are angiomas on the skin. The hallmark of the Sturge-Weber syndrome is a facial cutaneous venous dilatation also known as port wine stain or nevus flemus typically in the ophthalmic and maxillary distribution of the cranial nerve 5. Why angiomas are more on the face? Because this part is richly vascular though angiomas may also be found in other organs. What are the findings in the eye? Refractory glaucoma leading to blindness. What are the neurological features? Leptomeningeal angiomas capillary malformation. Leptomeninges are richly vascularized and brain becomes atrophic and calcified and shows tram track calcification. What's tram track calcification? X-ray skull and CT scan show calcification in the opposing gyri, the tram track appearance in the brain with cerebral cortical atrophy. The condition may present at birth with seizures and port wine stain. There is macrocephaly, hemiparesis or hemiplegia, developmental, cognitive and intellectual delay and learning problems with attention deficit hyperactivity disorders. When seizures occur and what's their type? Seizures may be seen during the first year of life. The seizures are focal, tonic, chronic and contralateral to the side of facial nevus.